Jim, oftentimes I have patients come in, they've had surgery on their eyes, some young, some a little bit older. And a lot of times, they are not seeing optimally. Uh, yes, their eyes do look straight, but there are times when I work with these patients and they are not able to read effectively, they don't have good vision out of the eye that had surgery. So we gotta look at that. How can I enhance the performance of these patients? And a lot of times we'll examine the patient. This patient particularly that just came in was a teenager and she had surgery for cross-sidedness. Her eyes tended to pull and the surgeon did a good job in making the eyes straight. However, she still had trouble with reading and the eyes still tended to pull when she was viewing objects up close. So in this case, we prescribed the patient a bipodal, giving her more power for reading. Therefore, her eyes did not have to cross as much and she was able to perform a lot better. Then there were other individuals who had surgery on their eyes, but the prescription between the two eyes is vastly different. One eye might not have any prescription, the other eye might have a very significant amount of prescription. And that eye never was able to see 2020. In all cases, it's lucky if it can see the big letter E. So what we do is we prescribe a contact lens. Jim, I'm gonna pull a lens out of my lens holder here, and I wanna show you something. If you can imagine how big my eye looks right here, can you see that? As we're doing it, as I bring that lens closer and closer and closer to my eye, the other eye is almost the same size now as the eye with this lens in front of it. Out here, it's a big difference. Well, that's what happens to the patient. They see one image bigger than the other. So these people are not going to be able to bring those two images together. That's when a contact lens becomes quote unquote medically necessary. So I put that lens on the person and sometimes the vision is enhanced. In other words, they can see now 20, 20, 20, 30, instead of 2200. And sometimes they still can't see very well. But what happens is by having that contact lens in, all of a sudden they can see the whole picture. They're not just seeing out of one side of their eye, they're seeing out of both sides. Now that's half the problem. Now, the other half is when I give these people something to read close up, they've never used two eyes before together. So what do we do? We put the contact lens on, they're able to see better. Then I will check out and see, if I put a pair of reading glasses over it, because their eyes have never focused together or aimed together. This time, the person is able to aim their eyes together, focus it together, and reading becomes so amazingly easy compared to what it was before. We have done quite a bit for this individual. And then again, there are people where this lazy eye is so embedded, no matter what we do, there isn't anything that is really going to help the situation with that person. But we've made big differences. One other thing, Jim, that's interesting. There are people whose eyes cross, and then there are people whose eyes tend to cross. In other words, when, you're, when you look at them, they're straight, but as they're trying to read, their eyes are tending to cross. They can control it, but the expense is extra effort taken away from comprehension and reading. Those people, same thing. You can put a lens in front of them for reading, would blur the distance, do it for up close, and a lot of times they'll be able to read a lot more effectively and easily. And one more thing that deals with eyes not straight. This deals when the problem is not this way, when the eyes cross, it deals when the eye is a little bit off this way. Now the eyes, again, could be straight, but there's a tendency when the eyes are at rest to pull apart this way. The eyes have a lot of problems pulling it back together this way. Leads to a lot of strain. But also, we had a patient in here, and this is on my Yelp reviews, in which we actually put that little bit of lens, barely perceptible, in front of that patient. And she had this problem with her eyes tended to drift. And what a neat blog from the mom, not blog, but what a neat letter from the mom stating that poor girl never knew that she had a problem, never able to see depth before. All of a sudden we did this and she was able to see depth. Why? Because the eyes do not perceive depth if they're not straight looking at a target. So these are some of the issues that we deal with right now with vision, straight eyes, and trying to make the person a better performer, whether at work or at school.